What's going on everyone? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to today's video. I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite color palettes, and that's Earth Tones. Earth Tones range anywhere from different types of greens to anything that's tan, beige, khaki, like in that realm, all the way to brown. And then we actually are working in some neutrals, as I call them, into the 10 outfits that I have for you guys today. This is not a shopping video, it's for you guys to get inspired. And I really wanna show you how you can wear these different earth tones, how you can combine them, and ultimately prove to you that an earth tone color palette is probably one of the most versatile color palettes that you can have in your wardrobe. Especially with the season that we're in right now. It is late summer, going into early fall. It's definitely a very great fall palette, but even for late summer, I wear earth tones all year round. So I'm hoping to show with these 10 outfits that I have for you guys, how you can wear them in the late summer, how you can wear them into the early fall, and then don't worry, subscribe if you don't wanna miss out all the fall actual shopping videos where you can cop some pieces to update your wardrobe. Coming really soon. We have a range of outfits from casual to dapper, but I'm gonna start talking about look number one, what I have on right now. It's a utility vest from Manana Republic in a darker green than the green shirt that I have underneath. And that's the first note I wanna make with you guys. If you are matching two colors that are technically the same, both of these are green, right? You wanna make sure that either they're a perfect match or so close to perfect that from afar you can't tell the difference, or you wanna make sure that they're substantially different so it doesn't look like it's clashing. That's just a base note. On my legs, I've got a pair of tan chinos. These are from Paige. Almost forgot, but then I remembered. A slim fit and a nice balance to the top half. We've got green up top and then tan towards the bottom. On my feet, I've got a pair of brown Doc Martens. Doc Martens are amazing, especially in the fall. I'm gonna be wearing them a whole lot. I'm here in LA, I don't really get much of a fall. I'm still gonna be wearing them uh, a whole lot because I don't care, I just really like them. And this is one of the easiest ways to pull off an earth-toned outfit. Color block from top, to bottom, to shoes, green, tan, cream, beige, whatever you want, and then the darkest boots. Brown boots are probably one of the easiest things to find. Green boots, you don't really see much, and you know, khaki or beige boots, you don't really see all that much either. So that's outfit number one. For look number two, we've got a suede jacket from Seven for All Mankind, underneath an olive colored t-shirt from Essentials. On my legs, we've got a pair of Uniqlo chinos, and then brown boots from Ankari Flores, my own brand, in an espresso suede color. So what I'm trying to point out with this look is you can probably see a little bit of a difference between the chinos and the jacket. Why this still works for me is because up top we've got a suede jacket and suede tends to look a little bit different depending on how it's brushed and how you look at it. So this I would call a monochrome look other than the t-shirt obviously. I think these two work together because parts of the jacket depending on how you look at it work exactly with these chinos. Now, once you have that match, it's easy to just add in another color. In this case, I chose olive green, which is a bit lighter and also a bit in the yellowish side, so it works well with the tan look overall. And then I finished the look off with these brown boots, um, which is a little bit of a strong accent. You can see that the rest of the outfit is kind of bright in comparison, but the boots kind of bring it back down and also make it a little bit more fall appropriate. If this is still too hot where you're at right now, just take it off. Still works, you got the same concept as before. Green up top, tan on the pants, and then brown in the boots. Keeping it real simple with nook number three, we've got an APC sweatshirt up top in forest green, then we've got seersucker chinos from Only and Sons, which I got at ASOS, which have a little bit of a green vibe already, and then we've got white Ankari Flores sneakers to pick up on the white APC logo very largely in the center of the chest. And this is to introduce the first neutral, which is probably the most obvious one, white. White goes with anything and everything, and I think introducing it into an earth color palette makes it a bit more uh, poppy, it makes it a bit more summery. So while this is a sweatshirt, I think this is a nice summer look. Um, call it a late summer night, you pop on a sweatshirt, but you still have the white sneakers on that kind of just make it a little bit more summery. Speaking of summer, if you see a somewhat of a natural glow, like a sun-kissed glow that I have on my face today, it's because I was at the beach this morning, and as much as I praise SPF, I simply forgot and thought the sun was not gonna be as strong, so that's a little explanation there. Um, but let's move on to look number four. <laughs> Look number four, and I promise this is the last one following that same template of green up top, then tan on the bottom. I just wanna show you guys a little bit of variety in that color combination. Like I said, it is probably the easiest and one of my favorite ways to pull that off. This is a denim and flower hoodie in a really nice faded light green. And then on my legs, I've got a pair of faded tan ripped jeans from Zara. So the combination of these lighter colors, I think really, really works, especially well in the summer. And then as a little mid layer, I have a white All Saints t-shirt peeking out. That white is then picked up by the chunky sneakers from Ankari Floors, and on my heel I actually have a little bit of Bordeaux, 
And if you ask some, Bordeaux is an earth tone because you can find like red rocks in Bordeaux. You know, I chose to not talk about this today, but I think if there's gonna be a proper fall winter version of this video, I would wanna include some Bordeaux pieces as well. So let me know if you guys want a follow up to this video come the proper cold season, because I'd love to do one for you. Anyway, like I said, this is the last look in this pattern. A lot more street. We got the hoodie, we got the ripped jeans, and we got the chunky sneakers, so you can rock this color combo from something more dapper, more casual, all the way to more street. That's not really street, but you know what I mean. Switching the vibe completely, the next couple of looks are gonna be suited, because honestly, earth colored suits are probably my favorite. From khaki to green to brown, this double-breasted six-button Chocolate brown Jay Lindbergh suit is probably one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely love this piece. You see I'm styling it very, very casually. A double-breasted suit is not supposed to be worn open, but I think if you do, you gotta do it right. I pop the color, which is up to you if you wanna do that. You really don't have to, it still works. But if you're gonna have it open, I think a t-shirt is the proper way to go, not a shirt, just because I think if you're breaking the aesthetic, go with it and break it all the way. Thus the collar up. We've got the same color pants, obviously, because this is a suit. And on my feet, we've got Ankari Flores suede sneakers in a cream color. Now we have that white neutral back in here again in the sole, in the laces, as well as the stripes of the H&M t-shirt that I'm wearing under here. We have the beige in a t-shirt and the cream color of the sneakers, which is different enough to work. And then the main color in here is the brown. Brown is probably not a color that you wear a whole lot, but I think, I don't know, like look at the suit and tell me that's not something that you could actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis. You could wear a black sweater underneath, you could wear a white shirt underneath, you can really switch this up and make a lot of different looks with this color, especially in the earth colored realm. So I wanted to introduce this, but I actually have another suit that I also want to talk about that you may have seen if you saw the green video. Now for a bit more traditional interpretation of the suited look, we've got this forest green Paul Smith suit underneath a linen shirt from Mango in white and beige. It's almost like a little bit of an off-white. And then finish the look off with tan suede penny loafers from my brand Ankari Flores. Ah, I love this suit. Tell me you can't get, like I, I said this in the green video, but tell me you can't get as much versatility out of this color green than you can out of a navy suit. Personally, I think this just stands out more, but it's still just as versatile, especially if you're sticking to, you guessed it, earth tones. So we have the earth tones in here, we've got the tan, we've got the white, once again, that neutral, which really works very easily with this fit overall. And then we've got the tan loafers, tan, different enough than this tan right here, just more saturated, a bit more on the yellow side. A really nice look that is definitely more on the summery side, but it could just as easily throw on a pair of dark brown boots, throw on a dark brown turtleneck, and have one hell of a fall suit on me. So I don't know what I'm trying to do, I'm, if I'm trying to convince you to get a green suit, but hopefully with the last two looks, I at least try to, uh, I at least succeeded in, in opening your perception of what type of suit to get. Now I know it's not the most trending thing right now, menswear is a little bit more on the, you know, looser, modern vintage train, which is actually a perfect segue to the next outfit. Outfit number seven, and let me preface this with the following. Just because something is trending, whether it's loose fit clothes or vintage or whatever it may be, or anything else, you can choose to subscribe to it or not. I'd much rather you guys see me as a style channel than a fashion channel because style is something that doesn't really follow any trends versus fashion. Fashion does. So I just want you to do what, you know, what you guys like. I don't want to force anything upon you, not that I can, but I don't want to make you feel like, oh, this is trending, I have to do that. I want you to keep an open mind and experiment with things, but that doesn't mean that you have to, have to try anything. So, I am wearing a vintage coat. This is a beautiful double-breasted vintage coat from, uh, from I, I honestly don't know, I paid 30 some dollars for it, which is amazing. Underneath, I'm wearing a sweatshirt from Everlane and that same All Saints t-shirt, just peeking out underneath. Then we've got green, pleated, relaxed chinos from Zara. Really, really like these, but I think they especially work with this trench coat, just the vibe really, really works. And then I finished the look off with the same chunky sneakers that I was wearing before. If you hadn't noticed yet, they are white sneakers, but there is that cream suede detailing around the toe cap, which actually is probably why I feel like they go really well, because it also embraces the earth tones. So, maybe you have noticed that this is kind of the inverse of what I did in the beginning. Usually we have the green up top, and then the beige, tan, whatever it was, on my legs. That is because I think it's a little bit easier to find pants in that color category than it is to find green pants that you like. These are great. Uh, I think uh, like a cargo pant iteration of these pants would be another great way to integrate some green into your bottoms wardrobe, but that doesn't really happen all too often. I just want to include this to show you that you can. Um, this stone color is a really nice way to integrate um, a more neutral earth tone, so still stick with the earth tone color theory but make it a bit more subtle. So really washed out, really light, not very saturated in any type of way for a nice, I think, really nice look. Um, 
I said that like I didn't really mean it. I think this is a really nice look. Let me know if you agree down below in the comments. I don't know what that was. Anyway, really like this look. And um, now I want to talk to you about what uh, I think is a bit more of a standout neutral. Um, for those that subscribe to this channel and know this channel, um, you might already know what I'm talking about, but this is a color that I consider neutral. The color I'm referring to is blue, but that only really counts if it's denim. I don't know about you guys, but when I see a denim jacket, I don't think, oh, it's a blue jacket, I think it's a denim jacket. That's because it's a specific fabric, and in my head, that's neutral. And I also think that it goes really, really well with earth colors. Especially if you got a pair of jeans like these from All Saints. They're a medium wash, but you'll see that in the used up part, it kind of has a warm undertone, like a yellowish, brownish. That will be perfect as a base for an outfit with earth tones. I did, honestly, I dare you, just start a drinking game. Every time I say earth tones this video, take a shot. Don't do that, you'll kill yourself. We've got a trucker jacket from The Gap, which is in a very saturated tan color. You'll notice that this is actually more saturated than any of the other pieces that I've worn today. I think taking a step back from saturation, going for more faded pieces will not only allow you for more versatility, but also more longevity of the piece because I think it's just more neutral and you can wear it for longer without seeing too much of it. But for the purposes of this outfit, I've got this jacket on and underneath I've got a long sleeve from Uniqlo in a nice tan color. And then on my feet I've got those Doc Martens again. And you'll notice that the shoelaces are actually yellow because it's Doc Martens, but you also see how that yellow goes really well with the brown. But I'm getting a little bit besides the point. We've got this neutral color here and then just adding several earth tones. We got the stone, we got the tan, and we got the brown. You'll notice that I didn't in integrate another green layer in here that may get a little bit much, but now we're moving on to another variation of that denim fabric. And that variation is raw denim. The much darker version, a very pure denim, and a very dark blue color. This goes really, really well with darker earth tones like this brown. Uniqlo sweater that I'm wearing underneath. On my legs I'm wearing a pair of tan cargo pants and then I'm picking that dark brown back up in the suede Chelsea boots from my own brand Ankari Flores. As you can tell I wear my own shoes a lot, that's because I love them. So if you want to check out my website, it's right up here or there, AnkariFlores.com. But back to the look, I think raw denim, much like the other denim, just works really well with earth tones. Probably because there's usually tobacco stitching on that dark denim. So for one, the fabric I consider neutral to that tobacco stitching, that like cognac -y color, tan color, that really just screams for give me more earth tones in this outfit. So this is what I did here. We have the dark brown and then the tan just to brighten the whole look up a little bit. Otherwise it will get really, really dark. But you can also wear raw denim in one more place. We got raw denim jeans for the 10th and last outfit for today's video. These are from Club Monaco and are hands down my most favorite raw denim jeans ever. Absolutely love these. They're a slim fit. They're reasonably priced for honestly an outstanding quality. And I paired that with a pair of espresso split toe boots up top. And you'll notice that I kind of did the inverse of what I did with the denim jacket. It was pretty dark up top and we had a lighter bottom. Here we have the darker bottom and then the lighter top. We've got a shirt from the Key Essential, a nice uh, cream color shirt. And on top of that, Massimo Dutti, a nice cardigan that I think really just balances this look out. Raw denim jeans to me are pretty elegant generally, so the cardigan works nicely. The t-shirt is a simple choice and even the split toe boots are a bit more of a dressy version. So this is the very last outfit that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, please let me know if you'd like to see another one. I could talk about earth tones all day long, as you kind of just witnessed. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave comments, questions, thoughts, concerns, and miscellany down below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper, y'all. Bye.